Hi guys, today I will show you how to make this cool sounding leads or ornaments like Mark Parker. It can sound like this or like this. Alright, let's, uh, let's dig in and let's see how we can recreate this. So this topic was initiated by one of the members of the HTTP community. If you'd like to join and have influence of what, what kind of content I create, check out the link below. All right, so let's start from operator because it's actually, mm, yeah, the operator gives us this ability to create uh, this kind of like looping pitch uh, envelope. So what I do is like, let's draw a node first uh, let it be let's let it be c3 node so i'm i have no idea how mike parker does it but uh, i've achieved this style by enabling pitch envelope let's put it a bit less and let's let's solo it and let's see so this is pretty standard but here in operator we have this feature we can enable the loop and when we turn on the loop now uh, the upper the pitch envelope is going to loop including attack time decay time release time and 100 milliseconds so yeah if we're gonna short this we can shorten the decay release so this is this is pretty much what we want to achieve let's turn on the initial uh, pitch quite higher let's let's make it yeah, so now let's let's make it a bit uh, longer. Yeah, this is pretty pretty good. Uh, uh, for starter, let's put some echo just to make things more spacious. Yeah, but now right now it's kind of like uh, so we we can use the time uh, feature. So time here uh, in operator, but in all instruments, basically lengthen all the times that we have attack time decay time release time and uh, this parameter time yeah so now it's a matter of adding uh, a bit of uh, another oscillator or maybe changing a shape of this one let's put it maybe a saw now we have this blast when we get the to the end of the sequence so we can uh, kind of avoid this by having a bit of a bit of attack nice i like it so then let's add another operator maybe let's put up some clock. so now with time we're gonna control the timing Now we can use the filter envelope, actually, sorry, pitch envelope too. Or use this one. Of course, there is like continuous stream of sound. We Let's try this pattern. Sounds nice. Now you can control. Maybe it's too much. For the short, uh, short notes, we can. We need to have a shorter attack. So oh, this parameter, this snoopy. And now we can add a bit of uh, amp. I like this preset, discrete. 
And to what I've noticed that with all those sounds, uh, there's a bit of redux on it as well. And I think uh, adding LFO to the redux would make things more, even more flowing. So let's, let's just grab that, pick, let's slow it down. Classic my Parker, in my opinion. Yes. So that would be it, just using operator with a bit of a uh, loop on the pitch envelope and then adding some effects and then manipulating the time. So I prepared this track. If you join HTTP community, this rack will be available for you. So th that will be it. If you want to learn more about Operator, check out this tutorial on your left side, my right side. See you next time. Bye.